Here's my GNU radio. I'll show you what I did here. Okay. The typical uh, Osmocon block. Okay. I got everything sliders for the frequency and everything. Two mega samples. My, I put this IQ bounce fix in here, but the uh, magnitude left is zero. The phase is on the slider. Right there, the second one. I added a constant for the mag afterward. Okay, that's the bias. Now, other than that, the second block. Okay, what's it? Where's it at? Come on, can I come out here? Okay, rational resampler four to one. I'm getting one fourth, so from two mega board, I go down to 500k. I, one thing I messed up before, I was dividing the uh, band pass also. So sample rate is now 500k, but it doesn't affect the band pass apparently. 100k, 50k, yeah, wah, uh, that's a transition, you know, how sharp it is. And that's why I put my scope so I can look at it. And then 500k wide band FM, it's 500k out, and multiplies the volume, and then uh, cuts it down to one and pops it back up to 48 kilobaud for our audio. I don't know why I'm calling it board, but that's a sample rate. Uh, I'll show you how critical. That bias and phases. Let me get myself up here. And you can put these fixed values after you figure out what they are as the as the uh, you know, start off values. You have to do it every time. But I notice it does change sometimes. It inverts. Sometimes you turn it on, it's different. And I got the phase here. Oh, you need to turn the volume up too first. Because you'll hear it when it's when it's coming in. Phase. See so going down. Okay, that's about as low as it goes there in the middle. Bias. Must be a way to make this put this where you want to put it. Going down. See that? Oh, the noise. And that wasn't much, this is 0.016, negative 0.016. This is positive. This is 900 milli, I guess, degrees. Look at that. It's gone. Now, look how sensitive it is. See the frequency changes and the pulse changes. And my phone's in. It's a pain in the ass. Again? 108 powers off? Wait, so 505 and 208 both drop power. There's something wrong with it. Let go on here. Well, nice to sound now. See, that's all. Dude. Maybe the gain changes that. When if yeah, I think that's what's going on. When the gain changes, that that zero offset changes. So you get a set on a weak frequency. Is that 1033? They play, yeah, 133. They play some wild stuff. But, that fixes it for radio. And it also not creating too many uh, overruns anymore. Isn't that weird? Just doing that.